All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome back to Hexit and the land of land alligators where we're still working our way towards the wall in the north. You know, with all this hype here, if it turns out not to be that cool, I'm gonna be a little bit sad. Um, but hopefully we'll stumble upon it in this episode because we're only about 1,700 blocks away and we've been working at uh, probably about like a couple thousand blocks an episode. But that's with stopping. So if we don't run into anything interesting along the way here, then we might hit it super quickly considering we've covered just about 500 blocks almost so far. So I'm just going to keep pivoty hopping along and... Uh, then if we stumble upon something cool like a hexit flower, we'll grab it. But if we don't stumble upon anything cool, we'll keep going and that'll make progress towards the wall just that much quicker. Any hoosers, let's uh, keep hopping and skipping and jumping. And that brings us to 6,600, which, uh, you know, if we're making that progress, we might get there pretty quickly. We're almost at 7,000. Oh man, we're about to hit ocean. So you know, that open water, that uh, that increases the speed of progress pretty, pretty well. So here we go. All right, time to head out on the open water and cover that ground. Cover that ground, here we go. At a rate of about 10 meters every couple seconds, five meters a second, something like that. Anything interesting along here? You know, I mean, I would like to find some interesting structures and strongholds along the way. I'm not going to purposely avoid them just so we get to the wall in the, in the north earlier. Uh, but if it ends up working out like that, so be it. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ha ha, I have abstraction for you all. <laughs> and that is that I finally read up on the wiki that the way you control horses is by having a stick in your hand. Really? I mean, of all things, of all things, a stick. Just have a stick in your hand. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, well, I mean, it is what it is. At least it's easy. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping the wiki is correct because anyway. Okay, so we have a stick in our hand. Let me get a saddle so we can put it on the horse. That's why I kept the saddle. Um, I meant to actually do this in the last episode, and then I, I either we didn't run across a horse or I just completely blanked. Regardless. We're about to make up for it here, so put the saddle on our horse. He's gonna whinny and all that good stuff. And now I'm gonna put a stick in my hand, and I'm gonna ride you, and you're gonna listen. That is it. That's it. You have to have a stick in your hand. Why do you have to have a stick in your hand? Also, are you just the slowest horse of all time? Or could. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, that's faint. Oh, that's faint. Oh, is that a different type of boat? Oh, Ooh. Uh, oh, that's just a regular. Oh, that's just a big boat. I thought it was something different for a second. It looked kind of, what do you, what do you, oh, hey, my, uh, my freezer right works on the horse, but you're really slow. You're really slow. Like, I hate to break it to you, but you are exceedingly slow, and I'm not sure that you're going to prove to be very useful. Why are you so slow? Also, my cape is freaking out right now. You are the slowest friggin' horse of all time. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, let's be honest here. It'd be nice if you could go a little bit faster. Is there any way to increase your speed? Hi-ho, Silver, can I hit you? If I hit you, it's, no, it's probably not gonna make you go any faster. Let's be honest here. <laughs> You're worthless. All this time. All this time, I was preparing for the day that I would be able to ride one of these Gumby horses. And it finally happens. And it's really, really anticlimactic. Because you go like the speed of my walk. Nice. Nice. You go the speed of a cooking instrument. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dismount you and you're going to sink. Goodbye. Farewell, my friend, who uh, I still have the saddle because it doesn't get used up. It was nice knowing you, but unfortunately, you're just not all that useful. <laughs> it's a sad story. All right, we're almost, we're almost there. We are like 500 blocks away, just about, and we're approaching a massive 
um, orange biome, which is the cobblestone thing. And is that an alligator that's suffocating? Yep, that would appear to be it. <laughs> um, I guess it's cloud boot time again, and we are almost at the wall in the north. So let's get you and you and you know we don't have enough diamonds yet <laughs> not even not even close one can never have too much okay Ooh, we must be getting close i'm just i'm just waiting on that site apparently it's like a 70 block high structure so magical so magical once again i really hope i'm not overhyping this or else it's gonna be a bit of a letdown <laughs> Oh well, it's been a long time coming, so whatever the case may be, at least at least it ends the mystery for us, and uh, we get to check out something new. Oh, we're so close. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so let me stand on there and put on our scale boots again. Alright, here we go. Ooh, we're just a couple hundred blocks away! The suspense is building. Can I get a drum roll? Can I get a drum roll? Here it is! I see it on the mini-map, I see it on the mini-map, but do we see it in person yet? Oh man, oh man, when's it gonna, <gasps> it's the wall in the north, and does it go on forever? Does it just go forever and ever and ever, and can I walk on top of the wall in the north, and oh my god, it's really high up, it's really high up there, oh wow, does this literally, hold on, we have to see, we have to see if it literally just goes forever with holes cut into it by trees. <laughs> um, I guess it's just, it's literally a solid wall that doesn't go on forever because I can see an end of it on the mini-map over here. Unless that's just, I wonder, hmm, does it only spawn at the first instance where you cross the uh, Z equals 8,000 threshold? That might be it. Um, and then it stops. And then let's see over. Oh no, it's just a gap. It's a gap in the wall in the north because I see it spawning again. Ooh, fancy! Just a gap to let ships through because you know they got that. You got the policies from the the global shipping conglomerates, so on and so forth. They need their gaps in the wall in the north in order to in order to bring their goods through from from place to place. You know, gotta gotta ship their their stuff from King's Landing. All the way up to the White Walkers, because the White Walkers, man, they do consume some product, if you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean, but someone does. So, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it keeps going. We just happened to uh, experience a little break. A little break in the wall. So let's electric staff on up. See if anything exciting awaits us up there. Yeah? Ooh, that's fancy. Ooh, that's a little fancy. And then on the other side. Anything? Uh, well, that looks to be a ship that we haven't actually encountered before. It's another fancy one. It, it looks to be like a medium big one. It's not quite as big as uh, the big ship, but it is one that we haven't actually checked out before, so maybe that's worth doing. Also, hey, we can just jump on top of a battle tower and loot it. Oh, and that's another ship <clears throat> that we haven't actually checked out before. Looks like it got cut off there at the end. Is that how it's supposed to spawn? Because it really does look like someone just chopped it. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, the wall. No, there was no gap in the wall. There was no gap in the... Is there a gap in the wall? Or wait, mm, about to find out. About to find out. Do we have a gap? Do we have a gap in the gaps? Plural. Multiple gaps in the wall. What, what, happened, <laughs> what happened here? What happened here? Ooh, ooh, that right there is not just a randomly generated Minecraft island. That right there, as you can tell by the spawners, is uh, is some sort of massive awesome dungeon. Oh man, we got a lot. Maybe the wall in the north just separated like the cool from the the coolest. Rain is not cool, so it didn't separate that. Is that a dungeon there as well? Oh my god! Oh my god! We have just stumbled upon like pirate ship haven. Hold on, let's see. That what what what? Oh oh dear! Oh dear! It's glitches! It's glitches! Oh no! Don't do this to me! Oh please don't! Oh please don't! And 
Oh god, it's really glitches. Oh my god, there's supposed to be a wall right here, and it's not happy. It's a good thing that we have the electric staff, because this is bad news right here. Okay, in other words, there is actually wall right there, but... It didn't spawn. It didn't. I wonder if I relog. Oh well. Yeah, let's relog really quickly and see if that fixes the problem. If not, we'll just have to be mindful of that. And uh, anyway, we have this to loot. We have the pirate cove to loot. We have the medium sized pirate ship. We have. Oh, these are both the same. If we look at the mini map, you will notice these are both the exact same island. So never mind. We have. We do have two to loot if we want, but uh, only one of them will be new. So anyway, all right, let me relog really quickly. Okay, so it looks like relogging fixed it. We now have a solid, unbroken northern wall. The only disappointment is I still haven't found Jon Snow. I don't know about you, but I was kind of hoping we'd run into him here. So it's a little bit disappointing. Anyway, okay, as far as the structures, I figure we should, I don't know, maybe we'll first start off with the, uh, the medium-sized big, the medium big ship. <laughs> <laughs> which is over in this direction um, the one that we can see on our mini map right now and hopefully it'll come into view in just a couple seconds we can jump on down so yeah I wonder if there's actually a difference between what spawns on the south side of the wall and what spawns on the north side of the wall the world may never know until I explore mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like the First ever Minecraftian explorer to cross the northern wall? Probably not. Probably a lot of people have, have made it to the north northern wall before, but you know. <laughs> you know. Oh, what? What are you? Oh God, you're under. Why Enderman in armor? Oh God, what is this? What is this? Oh my God, why is this ship full of Enderman in armor? Oh my God, hold on. Oh God, this is done. This is not. Oh, time to put the leggy. No, the leggy bow is not going to work either because they're just going to tell. Oh geez. Oh geez. Let's see if I can I hit you. Can I hit you again? Nope, that doesn't work. I had to. Oh, this is poor. This is gonna turn out. Poor. Oh, jeez. Oh God, stop. Oh, oh, this is gonna be quite an interesting little endeavor here, isn't it? Hold on. Hold. Hold. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, I can burn you at least. I can burn you, Enderman Defender. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'm making you teleport all over the place with my, <laughs> my lighting you on fire and stuff. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. I gotta, gotta clear the boat, gotta clear the boat! Don't rock the boat, don't rock the boat! Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And you're done, and you're done. This is gonna be a toughie. It's gonna be a toughie. It's gonna be a toughie, and you are not losing health. There you go, you lost health. Finally, as long as you just jumped off the boat in the water, probably not the best decision for an Enderman. You know, one might wonder, why would a group of Endermen decide that being on the high seas is a good idea? Because if one of them goes overboard, well, it's not going to end well. <laughs> Although they might just teleport back onto the ship, but that would be far too obvious. Only got another backpack, got another saddle. Got a revolver, a wind grenade. I don't know what a wind grenade does. None of the stuff on here is... Too cool as far as the loot goes. Um, let's see. I will take the to stop, stop, snip, step, stop it, stop. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Where did you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Okay. Well, like I said, I, I saved some space in the uh, in the bag to add extra backpacks. Should we need to do such a thing? So, what is some stuff I don't need? Some stuff that I don't need includes this and 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 okay. So let's open this up and um, I guess we'll toss in just some things that we get. I can't throw in that. So I will do this and this and toss that in. Boom, extra backpacks at your service. Extra hexical essences at your service, extra gold, extra diamonds, and potions of weakness I definitely don't need. I already have saddles and stuff as well, so I don't think I need any more. I have a revolver. Doesn't seem to have durability, so good there as well. All right. Cool. Well, sounds like an enderman is in the water or he's just mad. So is he just mad or is he in the water? Let's see. I don't see the enderman, so perhaps he is just angry and in the water. 
Um, all right. Well, I guess that's it for uh, this particular ship. Um, shall we? Oh, how are you? I'm actually very confused how you're managing to do this. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to do that. Pretty sure you're... How are you doing that? Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to. It's like you're this. It's well, most cats don't like water, but there are those who do. So you're kind of like those cats that like water. What a weirdo! All right. Well, anyway, um, that's that's interesting. So I guess on that note, we should. Uh, I don't know, maybe continue on over to this boat. Let's check out this boat. The weird the weird boat that seems like it had the back chopped off of it. Um maybe it'll have some cool stuff in it. And more ender all of a sudden are all the have the have the people been replaced by the the people pirates been replaced by Enderman pirates? Is this what's going on here? Cause this is mighty weird. Um Yeah, everything Wow, did is that what the wall in the north does? Is it separates the people people from the ender people? Is that what's going on here? Yeah! My freeze right legging is just getting me back on the boat. Actually, uh, probably not a good idea. Um, although it may be because I'm on the water. But I really don't want to run out of durability on my freeze right is the only issue there. Well, let's go down into the brig and see if there's anything. Oh my goodness. I thought maybe that was like a pirate boss enderman for a second. He does have a fancy enchantment area in here though. So, hi. Oh, you don't mind. You don't mind me. Just coming through. <laughs> he doesn't mind me. No, no hard feelings here at all. Well, anyway, I just want to loot your stuff, and it seems like you don't have all that much booty on board. So, with that said, I will, uh, you have a, you do have a crocodile on board, or an alligator on board, or whichever one it was. What was it? It is an alligator. Um... And you have uh, an Enderman manning the crow's nest with, uh, again, nothing in it. And you, wait. Oh, he's unhappy. He doesn't seem to actually be actively unhappy at me. But uh, he, he does damage to me when I walk into him, interestingly enough. Ooh, that's another one of the, uh, the mountain strongholds that we had uh, encountered a little while back when we had first embarked from the smeltery on our journey to the wall in the north. Anyway, um, I guess now it would be time to investigate the big pirate island over here because that seems like it could be quite cool. Also, what is this? It's just a... What? How does that even happen? I am... I am walking on... I'm walking on the bottom of an air pocket underwater. That's physics. Physics just happened in full force. <laughs> they really did. Now I'm going to jump to the top of the water and walk on top of the water air. That's weird. Okay. Well, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to call this episode right here. If you've enjoyed, a rating would be much appreciated. Other than that, when we resume, we will be laying siege to the pirate stronghold. And it's going to be amazing, hopefully. And I will see you then. 